Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kairos Has Friends, the show where I sit down with the people that matter to me the most, and those people are my friends. Before we get to our special guest today, if you are interested in following me on any of my favorite platforms, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram at The Vibe with Kai. You can also follow me on Snapchat and TikTok, maybe. I don't know, by the time that this, uh, by this airs, TikTok may not exist, so who knows, but follow me on, uh, on TikTok and on Snapchat at Kairos Keenan. You can also visit my website, thevibewithkai.com, where I'm always posting things that'll help you do good, feel good, be good, and live a good life full of good vibes. But enough about me. I'm sitting here with the star of TikTok, um, which at, by the point that this airs, uh, it, it may not it may not exist because uh, it's his fault. It's his fault for <laughs> putting out hilarity and, and funness. And on top of that, it's also his fault because he decided to wear this uh, nasty color today. I just don't it understand. Is. Is what what, it is what it is. What is that? What are you? What are you wearing? What is this? Listen, I, man, we lost last night anyway, so what's it matter? <laughs> Listen, friends, I'm sitting here with the one and only B Mo, the Prince. Hey, back. What's good, man? But before now, before we, I get into <laughs> knocking you on that nonsense you're wearing. Uh, how, right. uh, and outside of, of TikTok and, and all of that that we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about, oh. how are you doing? Quarantine life, pa pandemic life. Uh, um, how, how are you holding up? Surviving. That's really <laughs> the best way to put it. It's a game of survival. Yes. Quarantine is a different type of beast, man. A, a game of, of hustling, hustle, hustling and, and, yeah. and surviving. What was, what was life like for you before the world caught on fire? Uh, pretty chill. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, <laughs> before, before all that, I was DJing regularly. I was yeah. on the radio, everything. And then COVID took all of that away. Like, yeah, I was, was going to ask, because like, one thing that I've noticed about, about you on, online is that you, I feel like you have your hand in everything. I feel like every time I see you uh, do something, I'm like, is there anything that he can't <laughs> freaking do? Like... It's because I see you, like, you'll go on, on TikTok Live and you'll be, like, DJing and stuff. I'm like, he's yeah, a yeah. DJ, too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I mean, I, uh, it's, I've been doing it for a couple years now. Yeah. And, like, TikTok Live was uh, great because they didn't cut you off. Like, Instagram, right. Facebook, they're cutting DJs off. Right. TikTok was just like, yeah, go ahead. Two yeah. hours, three hours. <laughs> they're like, as long as you keep your clothes on and, and you yeah. Know, like. <laughs> like, if you ain't doing anything shady, do whatever you want. Play the music. Right, right. Want. So, dude, like, it was great. But Dude, because I, I, I'm like, it's funny because, like, sometimes you'll, like, go on in the middle of the day and I'm like, you know what, let me just, let me just <laughs> throw on, let me just put him on live real quick while I'm working and just, like, yeah. put on some stuff. Well, so, so you, so you, you, you were DJing before quarantine. Yeah, and yeah, you all and you worked at a radio station in in Boston. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, assume. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so <laughs> now now you, did all of that just immediately halt as soon as the world caught on fire? Um, there was a point about mid March, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah, mid March. Uh, it was kind of funny. I picked up two gigs the weekend that everything like shut down, or sure. at least in Massachusetts it shut down. And like, I was like, oh, word, I picked up a couple yeah. gigs, got a little money. Oh, I'm going to be extra <laughs> good with money this month. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, the next day on Sunday, they were like, yeah, by the way, we're shutting everything down. So, oh. like, no clubs, no bars, no this, no that. I was like, damn. And then maybe I would say, what was it, right, right before June, like, mm -hmm. the day before June hit, uh, they flipped our radio station. So then all the people who were on air, like everybody, uh, got booted. So then we all back out on the street. So income yeah. went from like this to this fast, hard, quick, Jeez. it took a left. But, 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 you, but, you've, been, but you've been surviving, you've been, you've been doing your thing yeah. and, and, and staying positive and, and, and making right. people laugh, man. Cause like you, you have grown fairly fast. <laughs> <laughs> on, on on the TikTok, and and there are people that that like love you and 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 enjoy your videos, which I did until I found out that you're a Boston Celtics fan. I was like, oh, this guy's pretty chill, until I found out what inspires you and and, and things like that. 
You're um, welcome for Al Horford, though. We, I know we talked about when you came on my Instagram live, you know, last week or a couple weeks ago. We talked about this a little bit, but for everybody that, that didn't see that, can one of the things, for those of you that don't know him, he puts up these these funny videos that just it, it, it want to make people laugh. It, he kind of takes, like, the things that are relevant to what's happening right here, right now, and just kind of adds this this funny comedic flair to it. Um, and he pretty much says the things that a lot of us are, are thinking and in a way or, or puts puts things into words that we may not be able to find themselves. But um, so walk people through your process when you're like, okay, this is my topic. I'm going to make a video about this. Walk people through just your process of how you put that shit together. Um, it's really, the, the, I wouldn't say, rarely is it like a spontaneous thing. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times it'll just be regular day. Mm-hmm. regular time just walking around and you you might see something on the street and be like that is funny <laughs> yeah like, that is hilarious yeah. like imagine and then all of a sudden like oh a certain wheel might turn it's kind of like everyone has it everyone yeah. kind of randomly comes up with these weird scenarios like yes. I- i'm sure you've sat around with your friends everybody has mm-hmm. and kind of been like imagine if yes <laughs> like how crazy yes. would it be if blah 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 right and like that's I just kind of once those ideas hit, I mm-hmm. write everything down in my um, notes app on my phone, and I don't know if it some of it doesn't end up being anything. Sometimes right. it does. Sometimes it's like something as weird as like upside down socks, and I'll just <laughs> write it, and then it it snowballs into something. Right. So like right. that's how one of my videos the the two thousand the two thousand two thousand twelve and the twenty twenty all yes. sit around talking. Yes, yes, yes. That was one of those things where I was like sitting and me and my wife were talking and I was just like, you know, it's kind of crazy because like the world was supposed to end in 2000, the world was supposed to end <laughs> yes. in 2012, and here comes 2020, none of us knew about it. We <laughs> didn't expect it. <laughs> 2020 just came from the left and it was like, nah, I'm doing it. And then she was like, that's pretty funny. And I was like, that's a TikTok. Like, that's have, <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever written down an idea? that in your head you're like oh this is genius oh this is funny and then as you're filming it you're just like eh, yeah no. all the time <laughs> all the time all the time do you so, do you stop uh, yourself or do you see it all the way through <laughs> um usually i'll stop it and then just make try to make course corrections over the next few days <laughs> and then find because usually like i i believe in the fact that if you get that idea it's mm-hmm. probably there's probably something there yeah yeah you just got to find it first. And sometimes I'll start a video and be like, you know what? This ain't it. Right. <laughs> no, this, I'm looking at this now, and this is yeah. how I thought it was. It, there's, there's definitely been a couple times when I'm like, I'll, I'll like be in the shower or something. I'm like, oh, wait, that's a, I'm a genius. I'm going to be I'm yeah. gonna be TikTok famous now. This is the most brilliant idea I've ever came up with ever. TikTok's going to love me. And then I start filming it, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> wait, 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 this is this makes no sense. Nobody's going to laugh at this except then, me. <laughs> it's even worse when you follow it through. And sometimes, like, I've put them up and posted it and been like, yo, this is a banger. Bro, the, I'm, I'm famous tomorrow. Million oh followers God. tomorrow. Oh, my God. And then God. You, check, you check back in three hours and you got, like, seven views. And you're like, all right. <laughs> So. There, was, there was one I made, this was a long time ago, when I first got on the platform, I made a, I made a TikTok video called uh, uh, the, the, the Black Guy TikTok Hotline. And in my <laughs> brain, That's in brilliant. my brain, it was genius. So the, the whole concept behind it was, okay, there's a, a, a hotline for Black guys on TikTok right, to right. call whenever there's some sort of like question or issue with, with TikTok. So in my brain, I like wrote it all out. I had this, this is the only time I ever wrote like a script for, yeah. for a freaking TikTok. I wrote it out. I'm like, yo, this is like banging. People are going to make audios, to, like use my audio for this. Yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah. this is off the chain. I, I, I took hours and edited it. It was great. And then I posted it out and like it started off slow and I was like, okay, all right, fine, whatever. And then like the next day I was like, wait, nobody, nobody <laughs> liked this at all? nobody <laughs> you're like what's wrong with them like right. what's wrong with them why so do you not like humor right <laughs> and is that a po- is that a point now like i actually thought of last night i'm like i don't got any, anything to lose at this point i actually thought about reposting it and i'm like okay i have a lot more followers now because like, when i did that i had like 500 followers 
and I was, I was, I was like, maybe I'll repost it now. Yes. And it'll be like, it'll like take off. Maybe, maybe who knows? Who knows? Right before he gets banned, it'll just take off, and it'll be the most yeah. genius skit of all time. So, so before, before TikTok, were, were you, were you uh, like into stand up and, and like sketch comedy and all that? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> really? Like I, well, sort of. Because okay. I, I obviously was like a radio personality, so you have right, to have right, kind right. of a, a sort of way to spin your content to be entertaining. Sure. Easy. It doesn't necessarily have to be funny, but it's got to be right. engaging and entertaining. Um, and then last year, or the year before, towards the uh, end of 2018, right. I just out of nowhere was like, you know what, I'm going to take this like random improv class or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just Just because it might help me with my radio stuff, whatever. Right. Took it for a year, followed it all the way through all the classes to the grad show. And when we did the grad show, um, or the last level of the course, was all about how to like put your improv into a show and how to write sketches. Because okay. part of the show was improv and, and sketch comedy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, this is cool. I swear to you. And I'm not saying this to be like braggadocious. Yeah. I thought I was like trash like i was in the class and i was like yo these people are mad funny right i am not as funny as these people like, this is crazy. <laughs> and so i wrote out like a bunch of sketches i wrote out like i think five of them yeah and then three of them made it into the show and i was like mine aren't as funny as theirs. <laughs> like theirs are funny and so like it was kind of crazy and then at, like after the show they were like yo you did great like you killed that like my friend thought you were the teacher i was like why shit <laughs> so like that was kind of kind of one of those things where like me and my friends would be yeah, funny yeah. and i thought it was just like and everyone is like that like I, right right a lot of us think it's just like us and our friends are funny right right it was weird to see other people think it's think my stuff right. was funny so that's where i was like you know what like let me keep putting this out and see if right like, if i can make people laugh that to me is a gift oh yeah so like if and i can do it feeling. Like, it's a good feeling to know that your stuff is like making people Laugh yeah, because like I, I like to put it like this: Imagine, like you have the power to make someone so happy mm -hmm. that just noise shoots out their face, like yeah. they just out of yeah. involuntarily, <laughs> just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. like I, I don't know why I've never ever <laughs> thought of it that way. You have the ability to make someone so <laughs> happy shoots out of their face. They just shoot noise out of their face. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like they can't even control it you know oh what I mean? God. like oh it's because so, like we've all felt it when you have like you see that one thing that like you just bust out laughing yes 100 like you don't we don't control that it just right, like, right. Bang. it's at like then it, you're in it it's like it's like when somebody randomly says uh noise shoots out of your face and you weren't expecting that <laughs> and, and now it's going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the day so thanks thanks for that <laughs> <laughs> so so what do you so what so what now so like obviously like so this is going to air on on monday uh we're filming this on on a saturday morning um for those of you that don't know i mean by the point that this is being yeah. shown tiktok may not be a it thing be here yeah it may it may not be here it may be here it may not be here uh we know how how mr 45 can can just say stuff sometimes right yeah so let's just say that by this point that, that, that this airs, TikTok is it's not here anymore. Um, what are your thoughts on that thought? And what are you going to do now? How are, you, how are you going to live? How are you going to make people shoot noise out of their mouth? <laughs> <laughs> well, for one, for, for me, I hate it, not just because of me and like what TikTok is, I've done there, but for the fact of what it's done for like the music industry, how yes. many artists have been able to break mm -hmm. because of TikTok, like people have blown up just off one song that finally yes. had a trending mm -hmm. dance to it or something. Right. Like mm -hmm. there's a ton of people on the radio right now mm -hmm. that wouldn't it, be without the top, I feel like the top, like if you look at the Hot 100 now, they're all songs that are on TikTok, all of them. Yep. yep. <laughs> and so like, I think it sucks for how many like, let's be honest, there are the TikTokers out there where it's just, like, kind of, you know, showing off your body or just yes. doing a bad dance yes. or whatever. But right, there, right. there are a ton, 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 ton of creative, yes. brilliant, amazing people mm -hmm. that were putting stuff on there that was, like, just yes. brilliant. Mm -hmm. So I hate that 
a platform that really fostered creativity in such mm-hmm. a way is being taken away. Right. So that alone, like outside of me, I hate to see that, especially because there's a ton of people I saw on TikTok that I was like, when the world opens up, I'm traveling to wherever oh, this yeah. person is and I'm going to 100%. work with this dude. And like, I don't, I don't 100%. care who it is. I like that. And that's, that's the, that's the, <sighs> What people that aren't on TikTok, because I, I see, like, because I'm on Twitter a lot, and I see people, like, making fun of TikTok content creators. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, uh, content creators, you know, they don't really have talent, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, have, if you've been on TikTok, you, you'll see that there are tons of people oh, with yeah. incredible talent doing their thing. And on top of that, I've met so many great people. I met, like, yes. we, we met through TikTok. Yes. There's yes, so many bro. great people. I don't know, like, h- half of the people, and by half, I mean 95% of the people yeah. that I that I have been associating with the past three months have been because of TikTok. Yeah. Right? Right? The, the, the person that I'm romantically involved in right now, <laughs> involved with right now, yeah. I met through TikTok. Yeah. You know, so it is, it's, it's insane that this may be just taken away. And it I'm with you. I I'm sad. It's a little disappointing. I I really hope that it's not the case. I really hope it's just right. you know him just like talking. But in reality, it may it may be the yeah. case. And I'm I'm saddened by that, by the and loss I, of, of that that platform. I, I think the worst part of it is that it it was a platform that like allowed and helped foster growth Mm -hmm. for these people who were creative because like you go on instagram i can post the same video on instagram that might not get the same role right as it would on tiktok so on instagram sure like you also can do the same stuff Mm -hmm. but they're not pushing it out to try and let it catch right so if you if you actually make a video that is is good creative or whatever Mm-hmm. then TikTok eventually is going to catch on and yes. people are going to catch on to you. Yes. So sure. I looked last night and everybody was going live, like yes. trying to talk to their, their people. Yeah. And it, it low key was like kind of sad because you're mm-hmm. like, like people are losing so much of their audience. Yes. Like that. Like yeah. for me personally, I'm a, like, I'm close to 400,000 followers mm-hmm. on TikTok. Mm-hmm. I got 8,000 on Instagram, which like is a lot, but yeah. that's it. That's a yeah. gap. And, that's and a lot that's, of people to lose. That's, uh, that is a big gap. And, and I, you know, I, <clears throat> ever since I, I started to kind of gain some sort of momentum on TikTok, I was like, I have yeah. to start branching out, you know, and using yeah. the, and, and think, because like when I, my, my brand, my, not my personal Instagram, but my brand Instagram, the, the Vibe with Kai, when I first got on TikTok, I, I wasn't really pushing it at all. And I had maybe like five followers because I just, I really wasn't focused on it. Um, but I, once I saw TikTok starting, my TikTok starting to like grow up a little bit, I was like, oh shit, I need to like yeah. focus on other platforms too, because like if, if this were to go to Vine, at the time I was like, if this were to go to the route of Vine, you know, oh, where yeah. people like, that's a, another platform where people lost their, their platform. They lost, a lot of people lost their revenue, yeah. yeah, you know, like in an instant you know, what am I going to do about that? So I'm with you. Like, I've been trying, like, for a while now, I've just been trying to drive people to my Instagram yeah. as well, as much as possible. And I think, I, I, I think you did the same thing last night. I put up a video. I'm like, hey, guys, just follow, follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And I think I got maybe, like, like another, like, 1,500 followers in the oh, last, yeah. like, 12 oh, yeah. hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially, like, when this stuff comes down, the people yeah. who, like, are, the people who follow you and are, like, hardcore mm-hmm. are, like, fuck. Yes, <laughs> I did the same. There was a bunch of people that I follow, and I was like, I need to follow them on their other platforms. So I follow them on Instagram and YouTube. Yeah, and it's and it's funny because I was about to jump into and like I guess this kind of answers the other question that we kind of like ran away from. <laughs> <laughs> but I had just last week contacted like some friends that I have uh-huh. that um, I went to high school with and stuff. Yeah, and they have more like video equipment. They make oh, okay. more videos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, I wanna like suddenly I'm starting to get YouTube followers, and yeah. I've never really yeah. messed with YouTube. <laughs> yeah, neither and am I. I was like, yeah. So I was like, if I'm gonna dive on there, I wanna like, you know, make make sure what I'm putting out is pretty good. And I was like, mm-hmm. and I'd love to not play every character in every sketch <laughs> that I write. <laughs> So but that was, was fun though. I like that. Yeah. And I was like, so I would I'd love to like work with you guys, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. 
So we were like casually like gonna start like putting ideas together and work yeah. on it. And then all of a sudden this hit and I was like, fellas, we gotta. Right, it's like, what are you, do what are you doing right now? I, let's, do this, uh... Like now? Is there... <laughs> I'm on my way over. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm outside. I'm actually, right. <laughs> I have my script. I have my notepad. Let's go right now. Yeah. Well, and here's here's the here's the really interesting though, because the timing is is impeccable. Uh, shady, if I may say so myself, but I'm sure you heard that Instagram is rolling out their their answer to TikTok this Wednesday. Yeah. Like this upcoming Wednesday, and like I'm like that's mad shady, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah. But I, I mean, you do you. Like, I don't want to be Mr. Like political guy, but like there was there was obviously like. Issues with Zuckerberg that kind of were on the Trump side. So it would make sense, like one would be able to like put together that this might might suspiciously be perfect timing for yeah. Zuck to create his own TikTok. Especially, yeah. especially where Microsoft has been working on a deal to buy TikTok. Yes. If the problem is really it being an American, a Chinese company, and an American company is set mm -hmm. to buy it. Why are you gonna block that? Right now, you know why. Working on it, you know like, why. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not really a conspiracy theorist, but like this is just perfect. too. This is just too perfect that yeah. TikTok would get banned because, like, he, they weren't. They they, they, they kind of like died in the wind for a little bit, and yeah. and and yep. then um, it just came out of nowhere again within the last 24 hours, and and like Instagram is. Instagram Reels is coming out Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. morning or whenever it rolls out. How convenient. I mean, I mean, I, I mean don't, don't get me wrong. I like, I'm happy that like, there's some sort of thing that'll be out there on an established yeah. platform that, yeah. and I was looking at like, uh, you know, uh, uh, like a demo reel of it. And it's like literally the same exact thing yeah. as, it's, as TikTok. It's, it's crazy. It's the same exact thing. Like it's the same thing Instagram it, did to Snapchat. Like they yes. Have, Yes, one hundred percent. And you know, and you saw how Instagram Stories takes off. Most of most of the people that I associate with, like I, I get my information out via my stories all the yeah. time. And like that's what I, and and Snapchat's in there. Like what the fuck, dude? Like yeah, like <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 whoa! This is our thing. Right. This is our whole thing. Right. So are you are you feeling optimistic? You know, moving forward about your your career, your ambitions, your like. If TikTok is not here, do you feel as though you can still plow forward with what you're looking to accomplish? Well, here's the, I think the one thing in my mind is, like I said, like, obviously there's a huge base of followers that not out of, out of them not being interested, but out of like, it's hard to transfer right. all that to a different thing. Mm -hmm. um, so there's going to be a lot that gets lost. So the audience is going to get a lot smaller, but I'm hopeful that like, if the content stays the same if the content's good the content's good right. you know what i mean right all the algorithms are different so we don't know how instagram's algorithm is actually going to support growth right but, exactly mm -hmm. but if you i think if you just keep putting it out there who knows like the same, i'm going to be doing the same bits like right right like the same videos i've been doing i was doing outside of the app anyway right. and just right. uploading there right so i can still do the same thing and post it mm -hmm. But well, I mean, I, I know that I, I'm going to be making it a point. Like the my favorite TikTokers that I that I not, now follow on other platforms, like yeah. I'm going to be glowing them up nonstop. Like I'm going to yeah. see I'm going to see people like you and, and some other friends that that I follow. Um, because I'm like I'm, I'm like these the people that weren't on TikTok that were missing out on all this shit. Like look at look at what what was oh, on there. Me. Yeah. Like, like, look at what this is like. This is some good quality stuff that yeah. that's out there. So I'm gonna be sharing. I'm gonna be like doing everything I can to 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 push out, oh, yeah. you know, my favorite TikTokers' now. content. What's up? It's an old brotherhood now. No, like, but like for real, yeah. like legit. And right. and I'm I'm gonna be doing my best. But I gotta ask you. I gotta ask you. Um, okay. why the heck are you wearing this nasty green color? When you know that this is where it's at, my friend. I mean, that's where Al Horford thought it was at. <laughs> but he left his game in Boston. That's he, what he did. He he um he he did live, leave a little bit of it there, which is why he's uh, he's he's riding bench a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about your Boston Celtics in in the bubble league this year? Um, 
First of all, after watching the first game last night, mm -hmm. the NBA needs a round of oh, But once I again, Adam Silver and the NBA Players Association set, it, set the tone. Oh. Set it, the tone. I don't care if you did, don't even like basketball. That league did it right. They, they got did, it. Yes, they did it 100% right. They got it. And I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you. I don't know if you've watched any of the bubble games yet. Mm -hmm. Like, I, there was a point somewhere in, like, the third quarter last night where I was like, oh, snap. I forgot. This isn't even in a real arena. Right. <laughs> like, they were controlling crowd noise that was yeah. reacting like yeah. a home crowd for the Bucks would react right. in a regular – I was like, this right. is – Crazy. When I, I was watching, I was watching uh, a, a preseason Sixers game, and like I realized that they're still doing like the home and away aspect yeah. of it, um, even though it's on like neutral courts. But like they were playing the sounds, like the same sounds that you would hear in that specific arena. Yep. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. This is really nice. It was brilliant. They had it, and they have it all set up. They've got like yeah. fear the deer for the butt yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the mm -hmm. coolest part is they had. Uh, they have actual fans. Yes. Like in the stands at like on the screen. So right. it looks like there's actually fans watching. Right. Right. As opposed right. to baseball who got cardboard cutouts with everyone like cardboard cutouts and then they're and they're doing virtual fans, but they're not like real fans. Like they're just yeah. like a, a just like li literally virtual just things. Yeah. That's it in the stands. And I'm like, that's weird. Because baseball needs to get their shit together. I'm I'm interested to see what, what football does because they're not they're not they said they're not doing a bubble. Yeah. So I'm like well, like football's got way more contact than baseball. Yeah. So yeah. It'll be, and, it only, and it only takes one team. You saw the Marlins almost destroyed the MLB season with their 15, yeah, 15 coronavirus. Uh, this morning I saw that they were like, Yeah, it happened with the Cardinals, it happened here. They're like, we could cancel this season as soon as Monday. I was like, how did y'all mess that up so fast? Well, I, so fast. So fast. But the, no, you're right. The NBA, the NBA needs a, a round of applause. They need, they need their flowers oh, yeah. because, like, they, they, they're doing their thing, and they're. I have no doubt that they'll make it to the end of the season. To, uh, well, as long as, as long as people stop going to strip clubs, <laughs> yeah. stop going to Magic Lemon City. Pepper. <laughs> Lemon pepper chicken. Gotta go get it. <laughs> but it, it's wild, man. But I do feel good about the Celtics. Okay. I All right. I, I am one of the – I don't know if it's few people. Uh -huh. But I, I, would, I would bet my money on the Sixers, Raptors, mm -hmm. and Celtics before I would bet my money on the Bucks. Really? Heard it here first. I don't think they're a playoff team. The Bucks are not a – you better hope that, that Giannis doesn't hear you because I feel like he's going to turn into MJ in uh in the last oh, he, minutes when he's like i took it personal it became personal for me he's gonna be a murderer that's facts yes. he's gonna be a murderer <laughs> it's the rest of the boys around him it, even last you night think like, so? the celtics lost to them last night in a game that was tight throughout yes and we had and kemba our second best player played extremely limited minutes and mm -hmm. our best player played like pure trash Right. And so our two best players essentially were rendered useless. And it was a tight game from top, top to bottom. I just don't think that the, the rest of the boys okay. got it yet. Okay. Plus, like, they got a lot of three-point shooters. And you know how three-point shooters, uh, three-point teams look in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> well, they die by the three. It, well, but, yeah, yeah well, say that, say that to the Warriors a couple years ago. They, well, they, they're different. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> they're different. You can't. <laughs> They got two of the best shooters I've ever seen in my life on there. Like of all, like of all time, of yeah, all time. Who do, you, who, do you, who do you have? Who do you have coming out of the West? Out of the West, I kind of want to roll with the Clips. Yeah, I was rolling with the Clips early because I'm a guy who likes defensive teams. Sure, sure. I was. Sure. I always feel like a defensive team is always is always going to have yeah. a little. Plus, I'm a Doc Rivers West. fan. I've always been a Doc Rivers fan. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. And obviously. Um, okay, well, that, that <laughs> aside. <laughs> but, but I also, uh, someone made a good point, I think it was on ESPN the other day, that the Clippers have spent their whole season kind of going up and down with lineups sure. and not having yeah. the same lineup because people getting hurt, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with this COVID situation, you never know what your lineup could be. Like if someone yeah. has, to, has to go home for an emergency and then has to be quarantined right. or like – People without injury might not be able to play a bunch of games, yeah. so they yeah. might be well suited just off of having to adapt so much. Right, right. So they're used to it. Right. I got right. a feeling they'll be 
he'll be pretty good. Plus, I love me some Kawhi, so I won't mind seeing him. I, I don't. I don't, and you, you know don't? why. Because uh, my, my season last year ended on oh. a Kawhi shot. Yeah. So how dare you say those words, sir? That was, how dare yeah. you? I'm not going to lie to anybody. That was the craziest. I was sitting in this living room, mm -hmm. and I was just like, the shot went up, and as it hit, like, every part of the rim, I was like, this is the dumbest. Like, this is, this is a storybook type of, like, dramatic Hollywood. Like, who made it touch 15 different parts of the rim? Like, this is the Can I tell you, when, when that ball left his hand, I was like, nah, we, we got this. It's going to overtime. And then it, like, didn't hit the – it just kept like, boom, yeah. boom. and I was like, I was sitting there, I was like, I, I, I'm replaying this moment as if it lasted like 15 minutes. Really, it was like, it basically, did. Seconds, but, <laughs> but like, I'm like, I'm like, no, there's no way. No, no. yeah. It was, and it was wild. It was awful. It was wild. awful. Because I think that we would have went on. I, I really truly believe that if we beat the Raptors, we would have went on and beat the Bucks and, and gone on to the NBA championship. I can see that. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have Kyrie, yeah, what? Did you, did, are you are you not a Kyrie fan? I am not. Like, like never have been, or because of I, how he treated. I was a Kyrie fan of his game. I always thought he was kind of a weird dude, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but like, I love. I think I would. I support the trade that was made to get him. Okay. Because like. We weren't gonna win anything, any sort of championship with a five nine dude at point guard. <laughs> <laughs> but I supported the deal. It was just yeah. clear, especially that second season where you had talent, yeah, and a lot of it on your roster. Uh -huh. And then I think Kyrie was like, "I want to be the leader of this team, but wait, there's a lot of talent here. I gotta right. like throw my weight around some on these right. young guys." And the young guys were like, "We can play too, bro." Right, right, right. Like we can play too. Whereas this year, Kemba is a great player. Yes. He's not Kyrie Irving. Right, right. But, but he's still good. He's heavy, good quality. Oh, yeah. There's a heavy, heavy difference mm -hmm. in the way the team has worked. Right. Like, if you just – and this may be too basketball-y. My basketball coaching brain might be coming out sure. now. But, like, there's just so much cohesion and, oh, yeah. and five guys working as opposed to one right. and four. Well, I, I, I remember I – remember because Kyrie was out for part of the season. I remember Brad Stevens being – you know, hey, Brad Stevens is a good coach, and he was able yeah. to still lead that team when Kyrie wasn't there. Yeah. Even, I think even the year – was it the year before that he was out from – I don't remember, but it yeah. was because yeah. yeah. I hate the Celtics. But, uh, <laughs> and then we went to the finals without him. Yeah. yeah. And then we had yeah. him back and got smacked. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but But – but I will, I will tell you this, and I'm, I'm so sorry to, to break this to you, but um, your season is, is already over. You might as well just leave the bubble now because Cute. Cute. the process is here. It's cute. And, and we're ready to go. Ben Simmons is going to go. He's going he's gonna to get the three-point champion. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I'm wow. telling you, man, it's, he's, play, he's, play, he's playing the four now. You know, we got Al Horford getting our water for us. We are good to go. <laughs> we are good to go. Don't mess with the process. Don't mess with the process. I'm not going to lie to anybody, though. When, Al Hor when they were like Al Horford signing with the six Sixers, I was big mad. I yeah? Because Al, Al's one of them dudes that, like, he's not the stud, yeah. but he's that guy that you knew you needed. Like, sure. every good team needed. And then he went to Philly, and I was like, yeah. who the hell is this guy? Yep. How in yep. one year did you go from this to th – what did you do? Like, well, I mean, if you happen to see the rest of him still in Boston, please please send him, <laughs> send uh, down. Send him FedEx, my way. I'll FedEx it to you, man. If I find it, <laughs> if I find it, I'll FedEx it down. Or, you know, send it, yeah, send it down to Florida. Send it down to Florida, <laughs> please, and because uh, we, yes, we could use it. Yo. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Here's what's going to happen. When, yeah. when, uh, when Earth is regular again – uh-huh. We're going to go to a game in Philly, and then we're going to go to a game up in Boston. Let's go. I've always wanted to go to the Garden, man. That's how, that's how we'll do it. I've, here's the thing. thing. I've, never been to, I've never been to Boston. I've never been to Boston. I've always wanted to go. I've been around Boston. I've never been to Boston before. I want to go. Uh, we're we're going to go up. We're going we're gonna to make some Instagram reels together. <laughs> 
We're going to make, we're gonna make some Instagram reels. That doesn't even sound right. That, 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 just, that doesn't even feel right. We're going to make some Instagram reels together. Yeah. And we're going to grow our, our platforms. And we're going to become the most popular black men on, 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 reel. <laughs> on reels. Hey, listen. At the very least, I guess it's a, it's a clean slate on reels. That's so true. get there quick. If we're That's quick true. with it. We could be the, we could be the Charlie D Mellow whatever Dude, of reels. I think you know what? Let me let me get these dances down. I got it. I didn't man. know not not near one of them. Everyone always would hit me up like, "How come you're not doing the TikTok dance?" And I was like, "I'm not there for that." I can do the, I can do the easy ones, but there's this one where the, there's like just a bunch of hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, no. And my uh, my followers are like, come on, do do this one. They'll, they'll like DM me. They're like, do this dance. I'm yeah. like, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I don't have time to learn choreography today. Sorry. No. No, no that's it. Like, I could I could come oh, up man. and write you a skit, film it, and post it in way longer, <laughs> way quicker than it would take me to even try to figure out that. You, thing. you've seen, you've seen my videos, man. Listen, I'm gonna put up a video of me staring at the screen for 15 seconds, and <laughs> I'll be, I'll be good to go. Good, good to go. <laughs> good to go. That's all I need. I that's all my, text. that's all my followers want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my God. Dude, dude. Well, listen, man. I, I'm, I'm so happy we got to like sit and chat, my friend. And, sure. and, um, good luck to, to you on, on Instagram Reels. <laughs> and, <laughs> you there. <laughs> and you know, but hopefully, I'm, I'm hopeful that this is, this is the, the, the beginning of a new platform with new creators and new all of that. Because I'm always a silver linings guy. So you yeah. know, hopefully, like this is, this is where it's at, and we continue to. Stay positive and get our reels on. Who knows? Maybe once reels starts, we yeah. hit a million in the first week, and we won't <laughs> we won't say another word about TikTok. <laughs> we're gonna be like like this time next week. We're gonna be like I'm, I'm not sure what is a TikTok. I'm not I sure is that that old that. thing. Is it like MySpace? Like <laughs> I support reels. It was a, a hefty upgrade. <laughs> That's. I think I just gave your idea for your next TikTok. Welcome, by the way, I expect I expect my residual payments in the mail every Wednesday. I'll send them with Al Horford's game. <laughs> I can't. Yo, the yeah. real. Yo, listen. Go Sixers. Get that not that green nonsense out of here. Uh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure speaking with you, man. And and I will I will see you. I will see you on the uh, on on the reels and 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 all of that. And and dude. Thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Uh, <laughs> Appreciate you, man. I got yeah, plenty man. of time now. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, my, but the Sixers play. I don't know what time the Sixers play today, but uh, as soon as the Sixers win today, I'm going to send you a message and be like, I hope you're ready. So, <laughs> so. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Yo, uh, everybody else, if you enjoyed this, you can go follow my boy, BMO the Prince, on all of his platforms, specifically Instagram Reels. Yeah, <laughs> at Bimo the Prince. If TikTok is still around, yeah. you can follow him on TikTok at Bimo the Prince. Yo, this dude is the real deal. He is a good man. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Vibe Kai, and you can follow me on Snapchat and on TikTok. Maybe if it's still around at Kyrus Keenan, and visit my website at thevibewithkai.com. Bimo the Prince in the house, everybody. Thank you so much right. and good vibes. <laughs>